welcome back to a new vlog. I'm out of breath because I just got off the treadmill. I just did a 15 minute walk because Lila is starting to wiggle around. She is taking her first nap of the day. So she's starting to wake up. So I'm gonna go grab her in a second. But I just figured it's Monday, I'm feeling good. So let's start a new vlog. And Andy's calling me and I will check in with you guys in a minute. So I just got Lila up from her nap. She is just having fun. We brought her little Love Every play mat with the tent outside. So we're just hanging out out here. Hi, girly. You just chilling? You just chilling. So we're just gonna hang out here for a little bit. Got my Alani and we're just gonna get some sunshine and some fresh air. Once upon a time, there was a loving family and a very mischievous bunny. So I'm just making some lunch right now. I'm just gonna heat up some chicken and sweet potatoes that I made last night and I'm also heating up some rice. So I'm just gonna do like a little rice, chicken, sweet potato bowl with some tzatziki sauce and sounds really good that's what we had for dinner last night and it was delicious so just waiting for the rice to get done cooking and then i'm going to heat up some chicken and sweet potato and then me and lila are going to go over to my parents house i just fed her so she just had her third bottle of the day and she'll take at least one or two more bottles so we're kind of playing around with the amount of milk she's getting now like she was doing six ounces five times a day for the past month or so and I'm trying to get her to eight ounces four times a day, um, but she still got hungry after three hours, so even with drinking more, so we're kind of gonna see what happens, but I think if we keep trying over the next few days, she will kind of space out her feedings. She's just really used to eating at the same kind of times every day, so I think that's why she got hungry early. So yeah, but anyway, I'm gonna make lunch, and then we're gonna go to my parents and just hang out for a little bit. Hi guys, good morning. It's around 11 in the morning the next day. I don't know where I left off yesterday. I just didn't end up filming the rest of the day, but last night we had some shrimp and salad for dinner and it was really good and healthy. And me and Andy also worked out in the garage. So I need to show you guys like kind of our setup in the garage. So um, this vlog is probably gonna be mostly just like healthy, days in the life, healthy habits type of vlog. So that's kind of the mood I'm in right now. And I'm just trying to eat at home for the most part and no fast food, really drinking a lot of water and avoiding like a ton of sugar and that sort of thing. So that's kind of where we're at right now. We're kind of doing that together, me and Andy, and we just want to feel our best and set a good example for Lila. So that's kind of where this vlog is probably gonna head towards is just like a healthy week in my life type of vlog. So I am drinking an Alani right now and just need some caffeine to get the day started. But Lila should be up any minute. She's down for her first nap of the day. She slept from like 8.20 last night until 7.15 this morning. So she slept so long last night, it was amazing. And now we're kind of like figuring out what time to feed her today and everything because she's kind of behind. So I might feed her like a little bit more at a time. Let's see. She's doing like seven ounces at a time now, so I'm gonna do eight when she wakes up just so she gets enough since it'll be like four hours in between her feedings and she usually only does three. So I will show you guys kind of what we have going on in the garage and we're just trying to work out from home because it's really, really hard to make it to the gym. I'm probably gonna end up canceling my Pilates membership because it's just really hard to make it. So we're trying to make sure we are still, you know, prioritizing ourselves and our health. So I'll show you guys what we have in the garage. So it's nothing fancy, but we do have a stationary bike in here, a walking pad, a bench. We have some dumbbells and we have this big mirror. If you guys remember from our um, previous, previous house, me and my dad built this mirror and had it above the mantle, um, but we don't have a mantle in this house, so we don't need it for that. So it's in here 
And then we have some mats here. We have an exercise ball, but it's nice to have the mirrors here so we can just see ourselves while we're working out. And then I got this little cubby shelf the other day from, sorry, the laundry is so hot. So yeah, we've got all this in here and we have a little cubby shelf that I got from Amazon. And then we've got some mats, a foam roller, we've got our fan, which is totally necessary. And yeah, that's pretty much what we have. I do want to get like a real treadmill because this one is just, it's just a walking pad. It's not really meant to be used as like a main treadmill if we're going to work out on it. Like it's not great for running. It doesn't have incline or anything like that. So I'm on the lookout for a good treadmill. If you guys have any suggestions for one that's affordable, let me know. Um, but I'm looking for one. Hopefully we can find one around like $500 or something like that. That's not too expensive. I see them online for like $2,000 and I'm like, no, we are not that. Uh, we're not that serious. Um, we're serious about getting healthy, but we're not that serious, you know? So we don't need like this fancy treadmill. Yeah, that's the little workout room that we have so far. In a few minutes, once I wake her up, I'm gonna feed her and then we're actually gonna meet one of my friends for lunch about 10 minutes away, so I'm glad it's close. And then she and I might go to Target to get a couple groceries and things afterwards, maybe. We'll see. But yeah, that's kind of the plan for today. So for dinner, we're gonna have some leftover turkey chili that I had frozen. So we're gonna thaw that out and eat that. And I just need to kind of plan meals for the rest of the week. So I'm probably gonna sit down and do that right now. Hey guys, so it's a lot later. I think the last thing I vlogged was just telling you guys what we were doing today. So we went out to eat lunch with one of my friends and that was nice. Then we went on a short little walk and I took her to Target, which ended up kind of being a nightmare. I just think more than one like outing is too much for her now just because she just gets mad in the car seat because she's not like sleeping the whole time we're out anymore like she was when she was little. <laughs> So yeah, it was a lot. Um, we pulled over and I fed her, so I fed her in Target and I fed her in the car like we pulled over. <laughs> She's listening to me tell this story. Um, but I think just, just more than like an hour or two at a time out of the house is just too much, which is fine because I'm going back to work next week anyway and we'll be at home all day every day. I think she just is starting to realize that she's like more comfortable at home and she's more comfortable around certain people. Like she knows me and Andy, she knows like our family and friends and everything. She gets weirded out by like complete strangers. So she's just getting more familiar with what's in her regular environment, right? I'm talking about you. She's so like curious about what I'm me talking right now, but so it was hard um and i've just kind of been feeling off today i don't know what it is but i'm just like tired maybe i didn't get good sleep last night or something um i also like got up when she got up this morning which never ends up being good it's like when you work and you wake up at the last minute before going to work like you just don't feel great so i need to just go to bed a little bit earlier tonight and then tomorrow, wake up before she wakes up. Um, so, yeah. Mommy has to have some me time before you wake up. Yeah, so I have good mental health. Yeah, we talk a lot about that, huh? We have to talk about our mental health. Yeah. We talk about mental health. It's very important. So yeah, it's just been a little bit of a hard day, but we're chilling now. Andy will be home soon. And I told him like, I've just kind of been having a rough day. So he said that um, not to worry about it and that he's got her and I'm gonna go take a bath or something once he gets home. So that'll be nice. So I'm really, really glad that we had chili that I could just prep. So that's just in the crock pot heating up from being frozen um, like a few weeks ago. So. That'll be really good to eat for dinner and then just take a bath and maybe read a book, go to bed early, and Annie can be on baby duty. So yeah, just 
wanted to keep it real for the vlog like I was had all intentions of like vlogging a ton today and like being exciting and everything like that but it just kind of turned into you know one of those days so yeah but I'm sure I'll be feeling better tomorrow and pick up the camera and like you know just be feeling better and share more with you guys but just wanted to keep it real today hi guys good morning so i woke up this morning at like 5 45 and kept trying to go back to sleep until like 7 and i just couldn't so i just laid in bed for a long time which never really makes me feel any better i need to remember that next time and just like get up and start the day but it is now 8.45 and Lila's still in bed. So she went to bed at like eight last night. She's still in there. Um, she's kind of wiggling a little bit, but I'm just so glad that I got several hours this morning just kind of by myself. Cause I just think I needed like a little mental break. I don't know. Um, maybe it's like my cycle or just maybe being tired. I don't know, randomly, but yeah so i feel a lot better now and i am just debating whether i want to go like take a quick shower right now or wait till she wakes up and she can just hang out in her bouncy seat in the bathroom with me because she's starting to wake up i think and she probably shouldn't be in bed much longer anyway because i need to feed her so yeah we're gonna try eight ounces four times today and see how that goes and hopefully that'll work and she'll keep sleeping long through the night. So yeah, but today is Wednesday and the only thing I really want to do today is maybe go get a few groceries or maybe we'll just do grocery delivery so we don't have to leave the house because tonight we are going to go out to eat with some of our friends and Lila is going to come with us. So maybe it'll be good to just hang out at home today, maybe like do some random cleaning or just relax and then be able to leave later today. Yeah, maybe we won't do like a grocery shopping trip. Or maybe we will, I don't know. It just kind of depends what kind of mood we're in. So yeah. Oh my god, my face is so red. Me and Lila just went on a really, really long walk. It was like 45 minutes and I'm so sure I got sunburnt, but that's okay. I needed a little color anyway. Um, I did have sunscreen on my face, so that's good. But just wanted to share a snack I've been having lately. It's just going to be my lunch for today. Um, so it's just pepperoni with some wheat thins and some cheddar. And this is not like... A healthy snack but it does have protein and carbs and fat so that's good and just drinking some water with lemon lime electrolytes <sighs> and I got another one of these cups so I have my like beige one that's just plain water and then I have this one for my electrolyte water because I just at night when I take my water to bed I don't want electrolytes like after I brush my teeth so I have two water bottles and that might be extra but it is what it is but I'm really just trying to eat at home more and me and Andy both have a goal to lose 10 pounds over the next 10 weeks which I think is super doable I've probably already lost like two or three pounds just from like not eating fast food for like five days in a row because I was eating so much chick-fil-a you guys like I would eat chick-fil-a for lunch like literally four days a week and it wasn't like I was getting grilled chicken. I was getting fried chicken sandwich with fries and a soda. So yeah, I think just being able to eat at home more. And then when I do go out to eat, because realistically, I'm not just going to eat 100% of my meals at home. Like that's like, that's setting yourself up for failure. So when I do go out to eat, like we go get Mexican a lot. I'm not going to order like enchiladas with a bunch of cheese on them. I'm going to order a taco salad. And like tonight we're going out to eat. Oh no, I'm gonna look at baby. I just came to sit over here next to her because she was talking and you wanted to talk. You wanted to talk, right? And you're being shy now. You always know. You always know. But I'm just gonna eat my snack over here on the floor with her. But I think what I was saying 
a few minutes ago was just I was eating so much fast food like when we would go out to eat I was getting like the least healthy thing on the menu like I just was not taking care of myself like that's the main thing like I was not taking care of myself um and I want to take care of myself for her so I think maybe like a month ago I posted like a healthy like getting back on track kind of healthy vlog and I feel like I just didn't really have like a plan in place when I started that like I was just like okay yeah we're getting healthy um because I was excited because we were really getting a lot of sleep and I like was drinking my water and stuff like that but it's so much more than that um it's really just making like a conscious effort every day to just do better like we went on a walk earlier for 45 minutes and I almost quit at like five minutes because it's hot and she was a little bit fussy but I fixed the stroller where she wasn't in the sun and I made sure she was good and we just kept going and we ended up going around the neighborhood like two and a half times so and, and I got such a good workout and got some sun and I feel so much better it's just like actually doing it is the hardest part but once you get the momentum like with anything you you can keep going but you just have to do it so I feel really good right now just like um, yesterday went and got Mexican with one of my friends and got a taco salad. Um, we had Mexican a couple days ago also like we get Mexican all the time you guys and I also got a taco salad and it just it's nice to feel better and just like have a plan in place like basically the plan is eat at home as much as possible like as little amount of processed junk as possible like we don't really have any more junky snacks in the house which is good um the junkiest thing i'm eating is like a wheat thin which i think is pretty good <laughs> so um and then just like prioritizing protein is really important so try to have protein with every snack and really just eating at home is so important like it's really that simple and you just have to find really easy simple meals that you can make which I share a lot of those on my channel um, I have tons of different like easy recipes that you just throw together the overall goal is just to like have better habits um, which are going to lead to me losing weight so I'm not like tracking calories or anything right now if I feel like that's a good route to go in the future I might um but for now I know that like cutting out fast food and making healthier choices when I do go out to eat is gonna help me like really probably easily lose some of the baby weight so yeah hi guys so it's a little bit later I just put Lila down for a nap and I am gonna go on my laptop and just put some more recipes on my like master recipe list just to like mix it up a little bit but I'm gonna look through a couple of books so I have this one it's a cookbook by Kristen Cavallari called True Comfort I'm gonna look in here and see if there are any like recipes I want to try out um next week so I'm gonna go through here and find like a new dinner recipe to try and then I also love this book. It's one of my favorites, um, The Wellness Remodel. There's a lot of easy recipes in here. It reminds me of another book that I really love called Body Love um, by Be Well by Kelly. So I'm gonna look in here, like this looks amazing. So I'm gonna go through here and see if there's any recipes I want to just make. Like these are, chicken zucchini burgers those look so good but i'm gonna look through here and see if there's anything i want to add to my list and then what i'll do is just kind of type up the recipe myself and print it out so i can put it in my like master recipe binder and yeah that's what i'm gonna do now i'm also gonna kind of look at our budget and everything and do that but and i might start editing this vlog but that's kind of the goal for nap time right now. So, yeah. Hi guys, so it is like two days later. I think the last thing I vlogged was on Wednesday. Um, and honestly, like Wednesday and Thursday were just kind of like weird days. Um, today's Friday, so I'm just kind of like, I'm not in a rut, but I just feel, I feel a lot better today than I did the last couple of days so that feels really good but 
we are just hanging out at the house it's like 4 p.m so i haven't vlogged up until now today and i didn't vlog yesterday but i think the vlog is like 20 minutes long at this point um because i did edit it up till now earlier today so i don't know what all else will include in this there's not really too much going on i'm debating right now if i want to take a little trip to walmart just to kind of get out of the house and get a couple things that we need there's nothing that we need like right this moment but i just haven't left the house today and kind of want to so i just fed lila so we might take a trip I'm still debating. Maybe we'll just go to like the grocery store because it's even closer than Walmart. Um, and just so in case she kind of has a fit or anything, we'll be really close to home. So I don't know. I'm debating. It's already four o'clock. Andy will probably be home in like two hours. So I don't know. Maybe if I can think of a longer list, we might go. Um, or maybe we'll just go to the grocery store just to be our outing for the day and grab a couple things that we don't even really need. But that'll just be an outing. Everything is like a huge decision when you have a baby. Um, because you're like, is it worth it? Am I going to feel better or worse after we do this? So. <sighs> it's a lot. <laughs> obviously decided to go to the grocery store I'm feeling good about it so we are heading there now it's only like five minutes from our house which is super convenient so we're just gonna go in there there are a few more things that I looked through the pantry and realized that we were low on that we do need so I'm glad that I looked at that we'll probably be there for just a few minutes just to get a couple staples and then she might take another nap I'm assuming she might just take like a quick nap while we're in the store, maybe, um, but when we get back home, if she's super cranky, I'll put her down. She'll probably take like a 30 minute nap, but she's already taken three naps today, but they were all really, really short, so we'll see. I think uh, part of the reason her naps are short is because she's going through like one of the leaps and that just means like learning a new skill and like growing and changing and she just rolled over for the first time today so it all kind of lines up with that making sense so yeah it's pretty cool that she finally rolled over from her belly to her back and she's done it three times today all by herself so she's really figuring it out and it was just so cute me and my mom were both there to see her do the role the first time so i'm hoping she'll do it again later for andy because that'll be so sweet to see and yeah it's been a good day my parents came over earlier and just hung out for a little bit and today is their anniversary so they're going out tonight so very happy for them i said that i am very happy that they met each other um so yeah, it's just very sweet. And yeah, I'm just excited to get out of the house for a minute, even if it's only to the grocery store, it's nothing glamorous. Um, and then I'll show you guys, yesterday I got my nails done. So I just got this like beautiful, like kind of see-through pink color and I love them, they're perfect for summer. And I just thought that it was the cutest summer color. So, yeah. So, Lila fell asleep in her car seat. She'll probably only take like a little quick 20, 30 minute nap. So, I'm just going to keep an eye on her and not bother her. Um, so if I'm talking quietly, that is why. And you can probably hear the sound machine. But I just wanted to show what I picked up at the grocery store. It's nothing exciting, but just some good staples that we usually like to have. So we drink a ton of like Starry Zero and Sprite Zero. That's just like our treat drink that we love. Um, I love the Cherry Slush Alani, so I got a pack of those. And then I got some pasture-raised eggs, which I was happy to find at this grocery store. Then I got some little tortillas and big tortillas. 
and I got some just some natural dryer sheets then a couple of these protein drinks and some ghosts for Andy and then I got us both some different kombucha flavors and then some more bananas and avocado for tacos tonight and cheese for tacos tonight as well so pretty chill grocery haul but just a few things that will help us get through the weekend so i think i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here i hope you guys enjoyed it just another kind of mundane days in the life week in the life um i'm feeling all sorts of ways because this is probably the last vlog i'm gonna post before i go back to work because i go back in three days so i'll definitely want to vlog my first week back to work and just kind of let you guys know how it goes um, because at least two of those days it's just going to be me and Lila and me working. So it'll be interesting to see how that all plays out. But I think it's going to go well. I'm trying to remain positive about it. And just so grateful that I do work from home. And my manager encouraged me to, you know, take care of my baby and all those things. And I've been off work for almost six months at this point. So it's very wild um, to be going back. It's just a huge adjustment but I will definitely try to vlog that first week back and let you guys know how it's going. I think that'll be really interesting just to document. And yeah, I'm excited that I have all these vlogs from maternity leave to look back on. And yeah, I'm glad that Lila will have some kind of documentation of her first, you know, five months on planet Earth. So yeah, it's pretty bittersweet. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I will catch you in the next one.